Hello and welcome to another edition of World's Grill Shack. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Dirty Sear Steak. So, the Dirty Sear Steak. Now, I'm one of those people that have been banging on about this for quite some time and I first did my Dirty Sear about a year ago and I absolutely loved it. I thought the flavour that you got from the steak and from the charcoal was 10 times better than just searing it a normal way. Now you may not have ever heard of a dirty sear and what I mean by a dirty sear is where you literally just throw the steak straight onto a bed of hot coals and you get an amazing crust and colour on the outside of the meat but it's still perfectly cooked on the inside. So today we're going to be doing the reverse dirty sear. So we're going to first of all cook it really slowly at about 110, 120 degrees until we get an internal temperature of 45 degrees. Then we're going to pull it off and we're going to crank up that big green egg to about 400 degrees and then we're just going to chuck that steak straight onto the coals. Now this will only work with premium quality lump wood which is why I use Globalty charcoal because it is absolutely the best charcoal out there without fail. Now the steak we're cooking today is an absolutely mahoosive tomahawk steak that I've been wanting to cook for quite some time and I'm really excited so let's head on over to the bench and let's check out that steak and I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare it. So the dirty sear, what a better way to show you than the dirty great tomahawk steak that we're going to just toss straight into the fire but first we need to prepare it so let's get it out of this bag. Okay so we're just going to get some black pepper straight on here, I do like a good bit of black pepper on my steak get that nice crust. Then molten salt all over this lovely steak. Rub that in. And then we're going to turn it over and do the same with the other side. And now that is all ready so we're just going to leave that on the bench for about 10-15 minutes to really let that salt and uh, pepper get into the meat. And don't forget if you are new here hit that subscribe button to see more tips, tricks and recipes just like this. Okay, so we've got a firebox full of Globaltic lump wood. I say it needs to be premium quality lump wood, just like this stuff. Um, so let's just light this. And then we're just going to leave that with all the vents open for it to catch. And it's starting to catch nicely, so we're just going to close down the lid and open up the top vent. And we we'll get up to 110 degrees. Okay, so it's now up to temperature, 140 degrees, which is what we're looking for. Now we're just going to slap this bad boy straight on in the middle. I'm just going to leave that to cook away. Okay, and just at the magical number now, we're at that 45 degrees as you can see there. So now what we're going to do is pull this steak off and crank up the heat. And you can see with the vent it's all the way open, the big green egg is really starting to raise temperature and we're going to come all the way around to about 350, 375 before we put the steak on. Okay, so we are now where we need to be. We're up at 375 degrees, so this is hot. Let's have a quick look at those coals and you can see how hot those coals are. And what we're looking for is that lovely whiteness to those coals and that means that these are ready for us to chuck this lovely tomahawk straight in. So the trick here is don't be afraid, just chuck it straight in to the fire and let the fire do all the work. And just listen to that sound, that amazing fire just cracking away. So I'm just gonna grab it, give it a little turnover, put some coals on it, but look at the crust that's forming on the outside of that steak, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna reach in and we'll have another little look. Look at that beautiful crust on the outside. So we're just going to go in on the other side again. What you can also do is grab some of those really hot coals and just pop those on the top of your steak. And you just find that gives you a nice crust all the way around. Now I'm going to say this is probably done. I'm just going to get this off, shake off any excess. But just before I put it on there, just look at that crust on there. That's beautiful. Okay, and before we open it up and slice into it, it's obviously just resting. I did use the uh, new Thermopen to 
uh, check the temperature and it told me that it was ready. We took it to 54 degrees with a couple of degree rest. And now this is gonna be absolutely beautiful. So obviously what I wanna show you is the crust on this. So let's just spin it over and you can see that blackened look is amazing. Really nice. So it's looking like it's gonna be good. So what we're gonna do is slice round the bone of the tomahawk and you just know that that is gonna be good when you slice into it like that. And what we do, and we'll just take you down for a closer look at that beautiful steak. Just look at it, you've got that blackened crust on the outside. Now that is a nice steak. Now that was a beautiful steak. I loved every mouthful of that, it was amazing. And it was cooked to medium rare. I say we saw we pulled it off at about 54 degrees and we just let it rest up to about 56 to 57 degrees, which is the perfect temperature for a steak like that. So hopefully I've showed you that you shouldn't be afraid to throw your steak into the fire and get an amazing crust on it that that steak deserves because honestly this is a game changer, game changer of a way to cook a steak and you need to try it and once you do try it you won't go back. Don't forget though, it can't be briquettes. Briquettes are full of chemicals and they will ruin your steak. The only way to do it is with premium quality lumpwood charcoal. So there you go, another tip from myself. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and join me next time for some more content. Thank you for watching.